Welcome to Mojo Grip, Mike here. Today we're going to check out some cool military style airplanes that you can buy as a civilian. These airplanes are considered military style because of their aerobatics characteristics. Okay, now if you just look at them, they look like fighter jets. Sleek design, very agile, and they are fast. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. The first airplane on the list today, guys, is called the Shark. Now, looking at the Shark, first of all, it does look like a fighter jet. It does come with retractable gear, and it's a sweet, sweet design. Okay, this is an ultralight from Europe, specifically from the country called Slovakia. And recently, they just branched into the U.S. market, which I'm personally excited about. Now, design-wise, again, very much like the other airplanes that you're going to see in this video, very sleek, two-seater. It is dual-piloted, which means you can fly this airplane both from the front seat and the back seat. And you're cruising at a little over 146 knots. That's just your normal cruise speed. Now, this airplane can go up to 180 knots. I mean, that's that speed. You're looking at a little over 200 miles per hour in your normal cruise speed or max speed. And you're doing all of this with a Rotax, a Rotax 912. A lot of these airplanes, because of their ultralight category, they are using Rotax 912 engine. Now, if you're in the US market, you have to build this airplane. It's not something that is certified, okay? If you're around Europe, it's certified in the Europe market, but in the United States, you have to buy this airplane as a build kit. And it does come with an assist program. I think that will cost you roughly around $45,000. Um, to buy the kit itself is around $78,000. If you want a ready-made airplane, Fully loaded, you're looking at about $180,000. But if you build it yourself, you're looking at roughly $125 to $130,000. If you go through the assist program, again, you tack another $45,000 on that. And depending on the options that you get, this airplane does come with an option for the parachute, and you can get a glass cockpit. You can go with a dining or maybe a Garmin if you wish. Um, but again, based on the option that you want to get with your build, the price will go up. Nevertheless, this is still a very sweet airplane that you can do some crazy stuff on. And you can use this airplane as a cross country airplane because you're looking at a range of over a thousand miles. I'm not sure how comfortable I would feel sitting in that you know, cockpit for that long, but still you have that option to yourself if you need to travel far and fast. The next airplane on the list is called the Tarragon. Sadly, here's another gorgeous airplane that is not yet mass produced here in the United States. This is another ultralight from Europe. Technically, this particular airplane is still in development stage, um, but we've already seen some mock-ups, we've seen some really cool test flight videos. And right now, to purchase one of these, you're looking at roughly $170,000, $180,000. Design-wise, another sleek airplane. You have the front and back seat, short wings for aerobatics, and the color scheme. Oh my God, I just love some of the paint jobs on this airplane. And unlike the Shark, this airplane has the stick in the middle. So if you look at the Shark, you have the dual stick on the sides of the airplane, kind of like an F-16. But this airplane, you have a middle stick um, as a pilot. Now, performance-wise, this airplane also uses a Rotax 912 engine, but you're looking at a cruise speed. It will easily cruise at 150 knots. In case you're wondering how fast that is, you're looking at a little over 172 miles per hour. And stall speed, only 35 knots. I just think it's amazing some of the performance you get in this light aircraft with a small engine. If you know how tiny the Rotax 912 is, compared to other piston engines in the market. It's just amazing, it's amazing. Now to find out more about Tarragon, you can go on their website, tarragonaircraft.com, and they do have partners here in the US, so you can always reach out to them and find out more about the airplane. Number three on the list is called the Black Shape Prime. This airplane is my personal favorite out of all of the listed airplanes here today. And reason being that, before I ever got my pilot's license, 
here is one of the airplanes that I followed very obsessively and I thought it was the most gorgeous thing but at the time this airplane was only available in all the markets but today thank the Lord you can get one of these here in the United States the black shape prime also is an ultralight design in Europe and you have that fighter jet stand to me when you compare it to even other light aircraft uh, with aerobatics performance and things like that this airplane looks a little taller it does have retractable gear and my favorite part of the airplane is the interior space it looks so comforting in there although this airplane is considered sporty okay but you're still sitting in nice leather interior and everything all your dials all your sticks all of that stuff is right there where you need it to be performance wise you're looking at similar performance and cruise speed uh, in the black ship prime you easily cruise at 150 151 knots per hour okay another cool thing about the black ship prime is that most of what you would get as an option specifically with the safety options on all the other airplanes you get a standard with this airplane and you're looking at a purchase price of around one hundred and eighty thousand dollars again price will go up or down depending on the options that you get but roughly one seventy one eighty thousand dollars ballpark but you already get a lot of cool stuff standard with this airplane and you get a dining sky view standing in the airplane now you have an option if you want to get some avionics in the back seat you can always get another dining sky view back there there's an option for autopilot if you need one and I believe they also have an option for your engine uh, generally this airplane comes with a Rotax 912 but you are always welcome if you want that just a little bit more performance you're always welcome to upgrade to a Rotax 914 which gives you a little bit more horsepower and probably better performance on your climb and maybe some extra speed on your cruise speed if you want to know more about the black ship prime go to blackshipaircraft.com the next aircraft on the list is called the RV-8. It's made by Vans, which is a US manufacturer of home-built airplanes. So if you don't know about Vans aircraft, Vans have so many different airplanes right now in the market. Uh, all of them are home-built, experimental category, and the RV-8 is sort of the aerobatic uh, category airplane. And this particular airplane actually has really great performance, very much in line with the other light aircraft that I've listed so far. You're looking at cruise speeds, 150 knots for this airplane. And unlike the other aircraft listed so far, this is probably the only airplane on the list where you can get different options for your engine that's not a road tax. Okay, if you go to the Vance Aircraft website, they have all of the options for you and you see the performance numbers for each option that you get now the RV8 like I said is an experimental so it's a kit that you have to buy and then build yourself Vans does have several build assist programs and they have so many Vans aircraft flying in the air today that if you decide to build one yourself I don't think you have crazy problems getting stuff done because there's so many uh, online communities for vans aircraft and also they have a really good customer support program now the kit for the rvh starts roughly around 36 37 thousand dollars and then depending on your engine and the options that you want in the airplane your price will go up or down if you're not a builder or you're not looking to spend all the time to build an rv8 for yourself you can always buy a ready-made airplane now if you look on controller or trader plane you can find these airplanes anywhere from under a hundred thousand dollars to maybe a hundred and thirty a hundred and forty thousand dollars depending on the specs now this airplane has been around probably the longest out of all the other airplanes that I listed in this video so you can find really older versions for much less than a hundred thousand uh, dollars that are well built okay so you have options here to find out more about the Vans RV8 simply go to VansAircraft.com the last airplane on the list today guys is called the Diamond Dart now if you're familiar with Diamond Aircraft generally they make really good safe piston airplanes mainly for the average private pilot and for families for traveling long distance 
but this specific airplane is actually made for military use so unlike the other airplanes that I've listed so far this is the only one that Diamond is developing mainly for military training now you can purchase one as a civilian but it's gonna cost you a pretty penny so the price for this airplane is starting at three million dollars okay it does come with a turboprop engine which means you get a lot of power the prototype the dart 450 was flown with a 500 horsepower engine that is a lot of power and this airplane is looking to cruise at 250 knots okay now to me that is super speed for civilian traveling airplane you're looking at cruise speeds of close to 300 miles per hour on a normal day that's fast that's really really fast and again diamond is working together uh, with the developers to make this airplane more of a military trained airplane so it wouldn't really be for everyday use or for the average pilot to be flying around but again you can always buy one it will cost you three to four million dollars but you can always buy one if you're feeling frisky enough now in terms of specific engine and the price point for this airplane uh, a lot of it is still sort of in the air right now because it's still in development stages um, finer price we don't know yet and the actual engine that's going to be certified for this airplane we don't know yet again we know that the prototype was flying with a turboprop engine and the price point that Diamond is putting out there is a little over three million dollars as soon as I know more I'll definitely update you guys but this is definitely an airplane that is worth looking into again if you have the money and the time to train in one of these kudos to you okay so that is it for this video one again my name is Mike thank you so much for watching hit that thumbs up button for me if you enjoy the video and if you're a new viewer, you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and do so. Thank you, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.